In this module, what I want to be able to do is to show you how you can handle the politics whilst maintaining your integrity. And that's really, really important to me because so many people think that as soon as you get involved in the politics, it's almost like selling your soul to the devil. But that is not the case. And what we need to do is to learn how to do it well, how to do it properly, and as one friend of mine calls, how to do good politics. And to begin with, what I want to start with is just charting the way through through the reasons why so many people find this difficult and also the reasons why so many people can be on the sharp end and the receiving end of some negative political activity and basically get played. And I'm doing this to help you to avoid them yourself and to realise where you've got to change some of the approaches that you're currently taking so that you can become much, much better at doing good politics. The first one is that negative reaction that many people have to the very word politics. People don't like it. People think it's bad. It's about manipulation. It's about people doing things wrong. And what that means is, is that whenever you come up against it, if you hold one of those views that it's a very negative, horrible activity, you're not going to engage with it properly. You're not going to look at what's really going on and be prepared to do what needs to be done. You'll be pulling away from it. And other people People can play on that. They know you're going to do that. I don't do politics. And so they're able to take advantage of that. Another key thing is about lack of awareness of what is really going on. So if you don't know what different people's agendas are, what the strategy is of the organisation that is shaping those agendas, where the political battles are going on, it's very easy for other people to take advantage of that because of well, your ignorance. And they can do that in a variety of different ways. But it, what's really important is that it's your lack of awareness, your lack of knowledge and insight into how things work that is creating a big disadvantage for you. They also can play on the emotional reaction and maybe your emotional vulnerability. And by that, I mean a lot of people can react negatively and emotionally when one of those emails comes in that is somebody playing a dirty trick. And potentially, if they are not able to respond appropriately, to pause, to take a breath and then respond with their logical brain, if they're using their emotional heart as a response, that can create some really big opportunities for people of you know manipulative sort of tendencies to really play on and then put people at a disadvantage so if you are one of these very responsive people who you wear your heart on the sleeve you're quite often going to be played on an emotional level and be at the receiving end of negative politics and being undermined by them Another key area of vulnerability is the lack of relationships with a lot of other people. So people who want to take advantage of you may know that you've got a small network, that you don't know too many people in the right places, so that they can actually use that to their advantage by moving quickly, moving assertively, knowing that you've got limited resources to be able to verify the facts, to be able to call on other people for support, so that it's almost like you know you're on your own you're an isolated individual and they're therefore much more able to be able to work around you and to get what they want out of it Another thing that disadvantages people, and it's partly built on the lack of relationships, the emo emotions and the, and the lack of insight, is the fear of consequences. Uh, and I notice a number of people that are, you know, really sort of stymied by this because they're, they're there, they are on the receiving end of a political manoeuvre. And they're almost paralysed by, well, what might happen? If I do this, what might they say? What might go on over there? Or what else could happen? Am I going to make things worse for myself? And so there's a lot of fear there because, you know, in many organisations, the political negative consequences of getting it wrong are actually quite extreme. So there could be a lot of almost like case studies or role models of people completely getting it wrong, being almost even fired as a consequence of being able, uh, not playing the politics in a, in a correct way, in an appropriate way. So that fear is quite understandable. 
which creates paralysis and that indecision is the you know really playing in the favor or to the favor of the person who is trying to take advantage or make more progress than you are because if they know you're not going to act if they know you're going to be very slow to respond that gives them the advantage because in a way they're familiar they're in familiar territory they know the ropes they know what's going on they know who to talk to and they can move very very quickly and they can move far quicker than you if you are not of a similar sort of position in terms of your knowledge, awareness and ability to be able to respond. So those are sort of six, seven different ways there where you could be working at a disadvantage. And I think it's really important that you embrace these, not so that it makes you feel bad, but it gives you the ideas on what you might need to do to improve your game and to be improve your positioning and ability to be able to respond to the politics that are going on.